we do burn out song? Send it. Yeah, send it. <laughs> always, always send it. Yeah, cool. Let's see if you stall. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Behind me, y'all see we got our new rebuilds. They're both Mini Coopers, both of them are S, one's convertible, one's hardtop. So let's talk about the blue one first. Um, this one's a 2008 Mini Cooper. It's a supercharged, convertible. All of them are six speed, both of them are. Let me get y'all inside real quick. It's a pretty nice little convertible. This one's hit in the back right here it got a good little dent in it but it's a run and drive I think it has like 98,000 miles on it which is not bad for a mini it's really clean we'll take this one for a little test drive but this one on the other hand, this one's a 2006. I think this one has like 138,000 miles on it. This one got a little more damage than expected. Um, all the radiators, all that's busted. And it has an engine mount that's busted right here, the bracket. It still runs and drives, but it's just the engine sits on the side, so it's kind of hard to drive it. But other than that, I mean, it's pretty much a very simple fix as well. I mean, they're both of them are really nice Mini Coopers, I would say. Both of them, like I said before, they are manual, which is what you want to do with the Mini because the automatic ones, they always have transmission problems. So this one's, a, it got the driver airbags blown as well, but we're going to get that replaced. With this being said, on the white one, or the base, or off-white, you can say, color we're gonna do a lot of work on it we're gonna soup it up we got wheels we got exhaust coming we got awesome stuff pretty much the whole front end is going to be changed um we got inner coolers we're probably going to tune it and get a whole intake system as well so pretty much it's going to be a nice little sweet ride but this one the blue one we're probably going to keep it all stock we're just going to fix it up i might even change the wheels off these the white one put it on these because we're getting different wheels for this one and i like these wheels better than those much better wheels and i think it will give it a better look on it so with that being said let's take this blue one for a little test drive see how it does yeah should we do burnouts on it send it yeah, send it <laughs> always always send it yeah it's all good, we'll make it louder. Send it. Send it. It's been a while, man. I haven't had a mini in a while. The last one I had was the turbo automatic ones that had a problem with the transmission. So, let's see if you stall. Y'all might feel some potholes right here. <laughs> we have a bunch of potholes. So, Douglas County, if y'all are watching these, Video, make sure y'all fix these potholes. I need to fix it, man. But it's a nice little mini, man. I ain't gonna lie. It drives pretty good. Watch, everything's on point. <laughs> you 
prank doesn't work that well. <laughs> but other than that, it's pretty good. Get you some of that. <laughs> Was smoking. Was a smoking. baby, baby smoking. smoking. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and pull it inside. In. How was it? It was nice. It was a good little send. I enjoyed it. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and I guess see what kind of damage we got. Take it apart. See. Yeah. See if there's anything hidden right behind it. Well, I'm sure the rear panel is damaged, as you can see. Right there, that's gonna have to be pulled. Nothing that a frame can't fix. That's true. We got that beast right there, that frame machine. We're gonna pull everything out. So we'll start with, I guess, the blue one or the white one, disassemble it, see what, what kind of parts we need, and go from there. All right, guys, before we start disassembling the mini, we got most of the tools and stuff that we need, but I went in the back and I ended up finding a rear bumper that I'm probably gonna use to mock it up whenever we do the frame just to have you know a bumper to be able to line up things but in the meantime let's go ahead and jack up the car put some blocks underneath it uh take off the wheels so we can access the wheel wells and get all the screws and bolts everything off to be able to get that first thing we have to get is the top top has to go up. up yeah because we can't open the the deck lid i don't want to mess up anything so we're gonna have to yeah we gotta get some of the moldings off and just get the top yeah. off all right jack it up let's get it let's get the water. This tab right here, it was jammed in there, but the bumper was already ripped. But this one's intact, so I'm gonna go ahead and rip this one out, I guess. Cause I mean, we don't need need it anyway. Pretty obviously. much don't need it. All right, all right, Thor, go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> got that off. So yeah, see, these are the bolts. I'm gonna try to unscrew this real quick. Let's see if we can get the. I think this should be 13s. I guess, yeah, both of them, both of them have spacers. Well, see, this whole thing comes all in one. Finally got it open. So, let's get this sucker off. All right, so that's off. Come on, get closer. Y'all can see the damage. See the... Rear panel is pushed in, but oh, dude, it has road assistance. Some JB roll duct tape. <laughs> so next step is we're gonna have to try to find a deck lid and other pieces that we need for the car and go from there, so we can put it on the frame machine. Actually, let's take off the reinforcement board as well. See what's behind them. If the tub is crumpled up. Yeah. So now that we took everything off, we saw the damage, we're gonna go ahead and put the wheels back on. And next video, you guys are gonna see this thing up on the frame. Anyways, he's gonna get that taken care of, but right now, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and get the wheels on, on and get this out of here. What do y'all guys think? Should we leave these wheels on or put those on? I personally like those on better, so. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. These or these? But, no, I think these are 16s and those are 17s. We'll let y'all decide. But, in the meantime, let's go ahead and put this one down. Alright, 
guys. So this is gonna be a wrap of the video. We disassembled it, we had a little fun on it. Test it out, the tires are actually, they were brand new, but after we're done with them, I don't think they'll be brand new. <laughs> but in the meantime, in the meantime, we've seen the damage. We're gonna go ahead and order the parts, um, see exactly what we need. And in the next video, I guess we'll put it on the frame machine and start fixing it, you know, go from there. Start getting the pulled, get everything together. Yeah, line everything up and, but in the meantime, we might even do a video on this one because we have parts coming on that one sooner than this one. So we'll see what we're going to do. Anyways, if y'all enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Follow us on Instagram at Exclusive Rebuilds. We do a lot of sneak peeks there. We do giveaways, so stay tuned. We'll see y'all next time. Peace. I mean, we don't need, need it anyway. Pretty obviously. much don't need it. All right, all right, Thor, go ahead. Support brackets. And you're not like Thor no more, son. Yo, hold up. Try the button, see if the button works. Maybe you go at you. I mean, you're not gonna be able to do much. Well, maybe, maybe grab a button.